Pearl Rosakins, welcome to Outside Source. 28 years after the Hillsborough disaster, six people are to be charged. 96 people lost their lives at a football match. Among those to be charged, the policeman who was the match commander on the day, families of the victims say they feel vindicated. Uh, I'm absolutely delighted. We've got today everything we could have asked for. More extraordinary developments in Venezuela where a policeman has hijacked a helicopter and attacked the country's Supreme Court. The president's calling this a terrorist attack. Some opponents are saying he staged the whole thing to justify bringing in the army. We'll get you an update from BBC Mundo. President Trump is facing more delays in his plan to replace Obamacare and he's been laying the blame with the Democrats. We'll look at UN figures released showing the civilian cost of the campaign to drive the Islamic State group out of Raqqa in Syria. And on yesterday's programme, we were talking about that latest global cyber attack. We've learned more about the companies that have been affected and who might have been behind it. Six men will face criminal charges for their roles in the disaster at Hillsborough, Hillsborough Stadium. 96 people lost their lives at a football match in Sheffield in 1989. Among those facing charges is the policeman who was the match commander on the day, former Chief Superintendent David Duckenfield. He faces charges of manslaughter by gross negligence. Also, former South Yorkshire Police Chief Constable Sir Norman Betterson will be charged with misconduct. Well, after they heard the news, some of the victims' relatives said it was a day of mixed emotions. Judith Moritz reports from Warrington. They've had 